Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Kung Fu Trousers of Confusion. It's Bruce Lee today on the Amstrad, released by U uh, US Gold in the UK and released in 1986 on the humble Amstrad. Yes, yeah, a bit of a late one for the Amstrad. It was the last one released out of all of the home versions. Not sure why. Um, I've never played the Amstrad version. I've played the C64 and I've played the Spectrum, so this is a first for me. Um, I mean, I'm guessing the game's going to be pretty much the same. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's have a look. So, I'm <laughs> um, yeah, that's not really Bruce Lee, is it? Um, but, but yeah, basically, um, you play as Bruce Lee, the guy at the top, running around in black trousers, and you basically you've got to collect all the lanterns on the screen, and then you can go down into the lower levels of the game. And let's have a quick look at the UI. There's not really much to write home about here. You've got your uh, score in the top left top score in the middle and then how many lives you've got left now it says falls because basically these two idiots here are going to try and knock you over at every given moment that they can uh, the green guy hits you fairly hard the little ninja guy well he's just a ninja guy with a sword so anyway <laughs> what a great animation anyway I mean uh, graphically the, I look, uh, the screen looks great I've got to say that the actual backgrounds and stuff characters are a little bit strange to say the least oh hang on nope oh i'll get there in a minute let's try and nope <laughs> oh dear oh we'll get to the controls in a minute anyway um level wise it's quite nice to look at a uh, nice big sort of cow motif there um it is a screen by screen game as you can see and uh, like i said the idea is to run across and pick up all the lanterns which will unlock the middle of this uh, screen. If you look at the bottom, you can see that red grate. That will disappear once you've collected all the lanterns in the next screen. Now, you see here that green guy is pummeling me within an inch of my life. And I've just lost that life. So anyway, it gives us an opportunity to get across uh, into the next screen. And uh, there's a lot more lanterns on here, as you can see. Now the uh, the guys that are chasing after you, you can defeat them. Uh, they will respawn after a short time, um, but that's not really too much of a problem. Now the problem that I've got with this version is hitting them seems to be really quite, well, literally hit and miss. Um, you can defeat them, but they are quite annoying, to be quite honest with you. Um, especially this green dude, he seems to have quite a quite a big reach. Uh, now I just defeated the uh, the ninja. Uh, fella, I'm not sure why that guy's green either. That's a bit of a weird one. Um, trying to punch him. There we go. He's gone now. Uh, but they will respawn, which gives you something to uh, look forward to. Uh, Sound-wise of the game, there's really hardly anything to w worth talking about. There's no music. Uh, there is on the title screen, but not while you're playing, which is a bit sad. Um, there's, I mean, you've got the beeps and the boops that you're quite used to. But, yeah, there's not really much to talk about sound-wise. It's, it's a bit of a letdown, but you know what? This is one of those games that everybody will tell you you have to play. Um, I mean, it's, it's good fun. I'll give it that. And that's going to be quite a saving grace because it's not brilliant on other scores. But, hey, never mind. Now, you have to be careful collecting these, otherwise you'll fry yourself. Now, the good thing about this is the environment will also act against the other guys as well. Uh, so, if they get hit by those lightning things, they will also um, get destroyed. But as we all know, they there we go, the ninja just got obliterated. So, you know, you've got to be careful what you're doing, otherwise you're going to find yourself fried. It's quite nicely laid out. There's quite a lot to, to see here. I mean... You know, we've got this moving platform type thing now. It looks like a waterfall. Now we can climb up it, which is great. Um, Animation-wise, it's a bit of a strange one. It's kind of... It's quirky, and I think that's kind of what makes it. And I think a lot of people enjoy Bruce Lee. And I've just got frazzled. Oh, no. Game over! Let's, get, let's have another go. 
There you go, music's quite nice on the title screen. It's a shame they couldn't have kept that going through the game, really, but hey, never mind. Um, replay value, there's tons of this. You're going to love coming back and jumping all around the screen. Uh, controls, I'm going to tell you, are a little bit off. Um, and what I mean by that is that sometimes you're trying to stand still to jump, and he still moves, so you kind of jump. Oh, look at that, pushed into a corner now. Um, so what happens then is basically... Oh, I can't... There you go. Um... So, yeah, basically what happens, I've lost my train of thought, ladies and gents, sorry, really sorry, um, but oh well. Oh yeah, that's right, jumping. Uh, sometimes it, the game thinks you're still moving, so you'll do this like running jump like that instead of um, actually doing a straight jump up. So you can end up prancing around the screen like a demented ballerina. And that's part of the problem I've got with this game, really. And it's one of the one of the only things that I've really got a gripe against, apart from that looking nothing like Bruce Lee. Um, you see, I'm now I'm trying to get up there, but I've, now I've just jumped over it for some reason. You've got to lure them away as well, otherwise they'll just stand there and they'll knock the crap out of you while you're trying to jump up. There you go. You've got to actually stand still. Bit of a bit of a bugger, but never mind. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like Bruce Lee. Bit of a strange stick man. I mean, his lower, his lower body looks a little out of proportion. But I have got some exciting news for you guys. If you're a Bruce Lee fan of the the, the game, I mean, uh, not an actual fan of Bruce Lee, because I mean, let's face it, who wasn't? Um, but basically, there's a, a guy in the Spectrum scene uh, remaking Bruce Lee. Well, not remaking. He's actually done a graphical overhaul of this game for the Spectrum, and it looks blooming marvellous. So as soon as he's got that on general release, I'll give that a, a shot on the channel, and I'll also provide any links so you can download it, etc. I think you'll be quite impressed. Um, so age range, pretty much any. It's literally... Run, jump, punch, kick, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's a platformer, one screen platformer. And, it'll, yeah, it'll keep you entertained for a while. So, um, yeah, that's been basically, that's it, Bruce Lee. It's it's one player. Oh, if you want two players, uh, you can get a friend to control the green guy, which is Ace. Um, I've missed that lantern at the top of the screen. Time to, time to perish. Anyway, guys, it's been Bruce Lee. I've been Rich. This has been the Retro Revival Show, and I will see you next time. You keep it retro, everybody, and uh, as of ever, bye for now.